You have talked of a compelling passion awaiting us, but more often of the master just sitting on the park bench. Will passion return to our lives before and or after realization? After being emptied out in the deconstruction process and as part of that, cutting ancestral family karma ties, quitting a lucrative job, bottoming out, rendezvousing with a psych ward like Kathumi, <laughs> crashing at zero point and now just existing in another similar job which came to me for less money and feeling little or no interest, let alone passion. It's difficult to see my reason for all of this and to stay here. Will you really ever feel passion again? And if so, can you share where that will come from, the I am, and what it will look like and feel like? Indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I think that sums up all the questions right there. <laughs> uh, passion. Uh, that you're used to human passion that you know, gave you reason to get up uh, in the morning and make it through the end of the day. Nothing wrong with those passions, and it might have been sports, uh, creativity, business, uh, helping other people or whatever. Uh, obviously, those have gone away. Uh, and, and then you go through that long, passionless period. I, I think truly the hardest part of uh, going from awakening into mastery is a loss of passion. You just don't want to be here anymore. There's nothing that really excites you. Let's go back to the, uh, the video you showed with uh, the caterpillar uh, in the cocoon. The passion now is not a human passion. It's, uh, for lack of better words, the soul passion. It's to be. Uh, to, to, uh, <laughs> I see some people are booing at that already. That's not a passion. No, actually, to simply to feel that surge of yourself, of energy and consciousness, uh, that becomes a huge passion. Uh, let's look at it another way. You spent your whole life working and suffering and slaving for energy. And, and in that you found some passions, uh, which I really don't call passion. And suddenly you realize that you're the magician, you're Merlin, and energy works for you. Uh, that becomes the passion. Now what do I want the energy to do? How does it respond to my consciousness, not to my mind, uh, not to uh, goals? Uh, we're, we're, we're goalless here. Uh, that's so old human. How does, if, for lack of better words, how does my light, my consciousness, excite and stimulate my energy? But if you don't think it's your energy, you think it's external, out there someplace, then you've already, you're already kind of lost. It's only when you realize, this is my energy, and it's my, my light, my absolute uh, – uh, words are kind of tough here – but love for life that excites that energy. But there's still a lot of you who are trying to mental the energy. You're trying to think, and here's my goal, here's what I want. Get over it. Give it up. It's old. It's like the caterpillar trying to go back. You know, right as it's emerging as the butterfly, trying to go back to being the caterpillar. The, the, the passion is letting energy serve you, period. But don't think about it. Feel it. Don't, don't try to organize it in the hierarchy of your mind. It will fall apart. It won't work, and then you get really depressed. And you ask questions like this. <laughs> Start to feel – I don't know what you want to call it, but that, that yourself, your, your, your beingness, yourself, and watch how energy starts changing. Not about other people. Don't, don't start there with how you're going to change other people. You're going to run into trouble. But how just energy around you changes. And sometimes it's not at all what you think. Sometimes it's going to blow up your computer and you go, well, I, damn, Adamas owes me a computer because look what happened. No, but then you realize, oh, I, it was, I was just being the, all that I am. Look what it did. Wow, I affect energy. I now allow energy to serve me. Passion's a tough one. And um, uh, what I can say is, don't try to don't try to resurrect an old human passion. 
uh, the true passion is being the master, letting energy serve you. It's it's so fun and so simple for some of us. Yes, I'm going to need uh, a, a more coffee, a taller one, and a little warmer than that. <laughs> and, and that was my example of letting energy serve you. That was, uh, you know, it's a passion. I just want to drink coffee. I don't have to have a reason. I just, I am, you know. And now, what do you hear in the other room? The coffee grinder going, and and dear beautiful Carrie saying, "Gotcha, boss." Boss. <laughs> she calls me boss. Yeah, I mean, in a in a enduring way. Yeah, well, no, Carrie and I, we go way back, right? <laughs> Okay. Next question, please. What does it mean to be realized? How can I know that I realize that I'm realized? Please give me practical examples. Good question that I'm not really going to answer. Uh, <laughs> no, the, the reason is Shocking. simple. I don't want to define it for you. I can tell you some things about it, but I, I don't want to define it. My joy is going to be when, when you start emerging. And uh, not based on what I said, because otherwise you get it in your mind. It has to be a certain way. You start emerging. I can't wait. I, I, maybe I have to figure out a way to get some recorder uh, right around you when this happens, uh, like a video or something, because you know the most common response to it is going to be, "Holy shit!" Uh, that and and you're just gonna. It's like, ah, oh, I get it. And I'm like, yeah, I've been trying to tell you. And, and and you're going to say, Adamas, you're going to scream out, you're going to get on your social media. It is so simple. We've been making it so hard all the way along. And I'm like, I know. And you, all I had to do was allow. I used to think I was allowing. Now I just allowed. Suddenly, realization, if you want to put a kind of a textbook definition on it, everything is integrated. There is no fight within, because the only thing you're ever fighting is your own energy, and that doesn't make any sense. Oh man, you just fixed about half the questions. Well, throw them out. <laughs> Let's party. <laughs> it's total integration. Uh, it's an integration of all your aspects, your past lives, your future lives. They all become integrated. Integration means you're no longer uh, a divided house. You're no longer battling yourself. You realize you've been tilting at windmills for a long time. Why? That's fun for a little while, but not for a thousand lifetimes. So let's move <laughs> on. You realize there's nothing to battle. There's nothing to fear. There's nothing to fear, and and that's a tough one because I know you all fear. You know what you fear the most? Oh, amongst the most, losing your mind, losing your mind, your platform, your hierarchy of the mind. You fear losing that, so you tiptoe into realization, a and then you wonder why it's taking so long. I wonder why it's taking so long. <laughs> For the new ones, I do like um, teasing a little bit. Uh, no, I'm really not being insulting. Some of, one of you just said, no, I actually – anybody here think I'm being insulting? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Glad that's not recorded. Um, <laughs> no, we, we, we have a way. Uh, w when we communicate, we have a way. I, I, I intentionally irritate and aggravate just to, uh, just to make things more fun, <laughs> just to get you out of the complacency. So where were we? I was pontificating again. So uh, realization is total integration, no battle, nothing left to fight. It's completion. You know, there's a thousand or so lifetimes on this planet. How about being done now? Let's move on. It's completion. There's still some of you that are like, well, I want to leave the option open to come back in another lifetime. Okay, but Ooh, why? Oh, big mug, Thank buddy. Whoa. Mug. Thank you. <laughs> Later. Oh, uh, by the way, would you? I got a dirty one here. I, glass. Oh, you're talking about your Gla mug. Glass. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, yeah, sometimes we do get a little. Uh, over the top here, but that's okay. Oh. <laughs> so it's, um, it's completion, last lifetime on the planet. And you want to leave the option open. That's, that's up to you if you want to, but you're going to realize 
you're not really going to want to stay. I mean, it's kind of dreamy, maybe even poetic. Or I'm going to come back. You saw your opening video, which I, I really did like. I don't like most of the stuff here, but <laughs> <laughs> that I really liked. Uh, the music uh, isn't my style for the most part, but today's video was uh, very indicative. And it's like, here you are now in Butterfly Land. Do you really think you want to go back to Cocoonville? I don't <laughs> think so. But try to leave the option open. You do, so whatever. Um, it's completion. It's your last lifetime. If you haven't felt it by now, there's a lot that's going to do after you're done here. Not suffering, kind of to do things. Creation at its best. Here's passion, by the way. Passion is, you know, uh, creation is without any agenda whatsoever. That's true creation. It's not like I'm going to create a new job, I'm going to create money, I'm going to create uh, whatever. No, creation is I create. I'll atone. I create. You don't know what you just created. You don't care. You can create. That's the important thing. And then you dive into it and see what the hell you created. That's what the planet's all about. That's the job of science is to find, okay, what did we create? And they dissect it. That was cool. Uh, let's move on now. So true that to me that would be the passion is I create. You, you put it out there, into your energy, not into anybody else's. I create, and then jump into it. What did I create? That is exciting. You know, a predetermined creation is not really a creation. A pre- when you predetermine that I, I need to make it look like this, I need to create like that, I need to create a better – you're not creating, you're manipulating. There's a huge difference. True creation is, I create, let's jump in and see what I created. That's passion. So, um, oh, we're not getting through many questions, are we? <laughs> okay. Um, so, uh, realization, completion, integration, ultimately creation. Conscious creation without agenda.